For this video review, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series Walmart Exclusive Cobra Mole Rat or I would like to call this action figure Wall Rat because it's a Walmart Exclusive plus this kind of G.I. Joe Classified Series figures are very elusive. So let's take the figure out of packaging and let's see whether it has its complete accessories and the figure in it. Okay, so we already took the figure out of packaging and the accessories out of packaging. And why the discrepancy in price, I really don't know. So one was $17, one was $18, but both are sealed action figures. So accessories, well, if you already saw other videos of this, then you are very familiar with what it has. Okay, so it seems to be a complete set. So the head unit that matters with this action figure, I'm really not a fan of that. Why would I um, display my action figure with a bad looking zombie head sculpt? So it's just my personal thing anyway. Okay, so right out of packaging, what this action figure really is going to lack is articulation points, especially in this area, because of those pouches. So forward bends is really going to suffer. Plus, there's going to be something new with the new batch of G.I. Joe Classified Series action figures that you're going to buy. So it's going to have a different... Let's see okay there you go so it's going to have a different shoulder system which is actually very easy to pop now with regards to range of motion compared to the previous gi joe classified series figures um, which have a really wide range of motion this is going to be quite limited because of take a look at how this is constructed so this is a change in design so this narrow portion of the shoulder that's not going to really articulate well it's more of a just a rotating thing which we're going to demonstrate so let's put that portion uh, this side of the arm back so let's pop it in actually it pops in really nice and good you have to exert effort to pop it out okay so this is what i'm talking about so with regards to range of motion that's going to be it very limited because of how narrow this section is so more of just this kind of motion Okay, so if you really like the butterfly joints, wider range of motion, better get the older action figures from G.I. Joe Classified Series. Because somehow the shoulders are going to be more stable compared to this ball and socket which actually is easily uh, taken off. No... Um, really hard use of this which if you had the old G.I. Joe classified series figures you're going to use a lot of this so once again that's the, uh, a look at how that new G.I. Joe classified series shoulder system works now with regards to the other sections is going to be the same so same soft breath material that could well let's try if it's going to pop off easy without the use of this so uh, no that's not going to come off so you need to use this with the legs but with regards to the arms no heating needed okay so let's take a look at the details of the action figure so actually it's a really nice looking hazmat suit 
so we have really big pouches i guess that is for storage of other drill bits but i could be wrong but with regards to articulation points this really hinders forward bending so we're going to take that off really okay so let's uh, look at the body the drill so we're not going to take this um, apart in two pieces actually this i don't know what this is actually in real world application so this is going to the accessory parts bin so i'm going to use that so body drill and this so it looks like a handheld dark energon canister or container but if you're going to mine dark energon wouldn't you put it in a bigger cart instead of a canister so this is going this looks more like a old school mining lamp so we're going to either paint this part silver to mimic LED or yellow to mimic halogen <laughs> that's it to, for so the equipment is going to make sense now with regards to the head unit so that is the details on the head unit and we're not really interested in that and this hose goes to this part of the action figure so actually to assemble this breathing apparatus or air purifying apparatus so you have to attach it first this way and that is a look at the um, Geiger counter to measure radioactivity or to detect radioactivity so they know where to possibly drill okay so that is the way to um, assemble this piece because if you're going to attach the backpack first then the head unit and the hoses it's going to be quite tedious so I find this way of attaching all those hoses and that backpack to work okay and that shoulder once again pops off so yep very weak shoulder point and this thing is going to attach in this portion but if you use all of these hoses as you could see it has already detached from the figure it really does not stay on well if it's going to be a static pose like this well it's not going to detach but if it's going to be an action figure that you're going to play with then look at that so it easily detaches so that is something that is not going to work well so it's either that you glue this on this section or possibly not use this hoses because actually when you take these hoses and examine them closely they're made of hard plastic okay so to make sense this came from my mcfarlane dc multiverse superboy prime look how malleable this thing is so when you articulate parts of the body that has hose attachments this thing does not come off and it's very soft and pliable unlike the ones that are attached to this action figure that is really really hard so once again it throws the balance of the action figure off okay mole rat final form so i did a little bit of research on the mission order of a cobra mole rat so to sum it up just the short of it they are just plain miners so they find and extract 
substances, metals, and radioactive stuff, and especially the dangerous kind of stuff for the use of Cobra Command to make weapons. That's it. So, miners, of course, so I converted this action figure to its mission order because as the G.I. Joe classified series team would always mention again and again mission dictates gear <laughs> okay so let's start with the bump helmet which I included so the bump helmet that houses the headlamp and that comes from Action Force Valiverse. And those small packets are just stuff that I have lying around for kit bashes like this. So that's a headlamp, a mining headlamp. And it is that the bump helmet is detachable from the head unit. Now the hoses, this comes from the um, McFarlane DC Multiverse. Superboy Prime because I modded that Super Prime as uh, Superboy Prime figure and those hoses are now available for my use because the hoses that is included with this action figure actually they are just way too hard and stiff. So with this hose, the color and the malleability of the hose allows for the mobilization or mobility of the head and those are glued into the ports or connection ports okay so this guy has two light sources the headlamp which has a power supply and the more traditional lantern so instead of this having a different color i painted it yellow to mimic light so it's no longer a energon um, containing device it's a lantern that's how I want to depict this accessory anyway it looks like literally like a lantern anyway so convert it into one okay so we have the drill connected to the rebreather apparatus or the air purifier really fancy and what are these two pieces so this comes from um, Marvel Legends Deadpool so the harness system of a old Deadpool figure that I have so I put it on here actually for the purpose of having articulation points because the pouch that was originally attached to this area did not provide for articulation point on the diaphragm of the action figure or the waistline but with this this figure could be moved around easily okay so what is that that is a exposure indicator so that is how i imagine that thing to be so other mole rats could look at other mole rats or their bodies or teammates and see how much exposure this guy has so red is bad so he's soon going to turn into a zombie and what is this so that comes from action force valover so those hold life saving medicine in IB form syringes and whenever he is way too exposed because of the red light you could just take an IV uh, medicine and inject it into that IV port to save his life or his body's life so that's it that's the use of the things that I have on this action figure very mission specific, uh, specific mission dictates gear so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review